hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we're gonna assign team numbers to our player okay in the room menu right here in the player list item as you know that we show the player username so now with the player username we're gonna show the team number as well if the player is on team one or team two all right so let me close that let's first of all open up the launcher script and on the launcher script we now gonna go ahead and create a integer by the name of next team number and this will be equals to one after this let's scroll down we will now create a new method private word actually uh, it will not be void it will be private integer okay and this will be by the name of get next team number okay and in here what we're gonna do we're gonna create an integer by the name of team number this will be equals to the next team number uh, integer which we created up okay then we're gonna say next team number equals to three minus next team number so what this will do this will alternates the team number between one and two okay because we either want the player on team one or on the team two okay so this is gonna do that and then at the end we're gonna return the team number so now we will be having a team number either one or two after that in this method right here in which uh, we instantiate and set up the player list item or you can see the player list content okay i mean in which we uh, instantiate our player list item prefab okay so when we instantiate a player uh, list item prefab uh, on the menu it shows the username okay so now with the username we also want to uh, add the uh, team number or you can say assign a team number to the new player so let's do that create a team number integer this is going to be equals to get next team number method okay so this is gonna assign a team number to the new player after this we will instantiate and set up the player list item we are already instantiating it but now we need to uh, add the team number as well so for that what i'm gonna do right here at the start i'm gonna type game object let's name this as player item and this will be equals to instantiate player item prefab and then player list content okay and then i'm gonna cut this whole thing from here and right here i will put a semicolon then right down below we're gonna say player item dot get component actually we can paste that okay like this okay so player item get component player list item dot setup new player okay so we set up the new player now and at the end we are gonna now assign the team number okay so it is just pr pretty much the same we are instantiating a, a, a player list item prefab but now with the player list item prefab we are adding the team number as well okay after this if we find our method on join room okay in here we also instantiate the player list item prefab okay for this you have to watch the previous videos to understand what we did on our own joint room okay so now with this we also need to assign team number to the players as well okay so we're gonna do the same thing as we did right here down below okay we're gonna create a integer okay so in here we're gonna paste that now and we will 
instantiate the player list item prefab okay as you can see and then we're gonna assign the team number so in order to assign the team number right here at the end you can also just add team number okay so this is one way of doing it and this is the second way of doing it okay so once you do this in whatever method you want okay either this or either that okay so once you do this save the script and get back right here it will now give you these two errors but don't worry we're gonna uh, uh, fix this as well okay it is actually not an error okay so now for this what we need to do is click on prefab and then player list item and as you know that we have this player list item script okay so let's double click on it now and in the setup as you can see we are now only instantiating the player okay we are not assigning the team so now we're gonna assign a team as well and also as you know that this player list item is attached to the player list item prefab and that prefab got instantiated okay and then it shows the player username now with the player username we will be also showing the team number okay so let's do this step by step okay right here we're gonna create a integer by the name of team and then uh, as you know that we are passing the team uh, the player and the team number to our setup method so now let's receive the team number because right here we are already receiving the player now with the player we need to receive this team number okay so uh, in the setup method we need to now uh, create an integer by the name of underscore team okay and once you do that and save the script get back right here the errors will be gone because now we are receiving the team number as well okay so now let's assign uh, the team number which is coming from the launcher script to here okay so let's assign it to our integer team okay so after the player we will say team equals to underscore team okay and after this uh, we will be showing that team number in a text field okay so let's go ahead and add that so if we click on prefabs again open this up with the player list item let me double click on it here it is okay we are unable to see it let me increase the width Okay, now we are able to see it here it is okay we need to increase the width even more 600 okay here it is okay so 400 would be a good value now right here create a UI legacy text here it is let's name this as team number select the move tool and move it right here for example okay we will make the height 70 and everything else will be the same as this one so let me actually copy this component click on team number and let's paste component values okay and now instead of this we're gonna say team one okay like this let me increase the width of it to 200 for example and move it right here okay so it will be showing like this let's make it fully black okay so once you do this get back to the script now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this now and paste it down below and change this to team text save the script get back right here and you will now see team text so let's drag and drop that 
okay save the script and i mean save the game now we have the reference set up so now let's uh, show the team number as well so we're gonna say team text dot text will be equals to at the start we're gonna say team and then we're gonna join it by the underscore team okay so this is gonna show the team number after this we're gonna assign the uh, player to their team using uh, custom properties okay so for that we will say exact games dot client dot photon make sure that at the top you have this one behavior pun callbacks and these two okay now after this we are gonna say dot hash table then custom props this is gonna be equals to new exact games dot client dot photon dot hash table okay so once we have the custom property now let's assign or you can say let's assign the player to their team using custom properties so we're gonna say custom props team and this team will be equals to the underscore team value and then we're gonna say underscore player dot set custom properties let's pass the custom props to it so now guys if we save the game okay everything is set up so just save the script actually and let's click on playlist item and what i did right here is uh, let me show you okay uh, I make this from center to left and I move in the team one from this position to here okay because I wasn't able to see the team uh, number fully okay and also the team number I move it from center to left okay so make sure that you do that if you can't see your team number fully okay just adjust the text after that now if we go ahead and play the game and also build the game from uh, three times so from here if i go ahead and create a room okay now as you can see this is my name this is my team number if i join this same room from this pc okay player to build pc Okay, let's click next find room let's join that room so now as you can see team 1 and team 2 okay and uh, the reason we created the custom properties in order to assign the player to their teams is uh, because if you didn't do that step okay then the team numbers will be changed on this computer and it will be different on this computer but now as you can see after that we have the team numbers perfectly assigned on all of the computers okay for now we are not uh, balancing the team okay if i join the game from this pc now let's name this one as player 3 build pc let's find this same room okay now as you can see he is on team 1 let's join it from here click next find room join it okay so now it is on team 2 actually it is now balanced but this is uh, uh, by the default like when first player uh, joins the game uh, team 1 assigned to it then to the second one team 2 assigned then again the random value uh, set to 1 and it assigned team 1 and then team 2 okay so it is balanced in that way but if you guys want to type a separate method for this in order to avoid any 
problems with the teaming then you guys can let me know and we will do a video on that separately but if you like this teaming then this is also good as well okay so now as you can see when the players start leaving the teams as you can see now this player is right here left alone okay so now we are assigning teams in our room but now what we want to do is when the game start and we instantiate this player now okay now to this player we uh, want to assign the team number okay the same team number which is in the room okay we're gonna assign that to the player and then according to that team number we're gonna spawn or you can say instantiate the player in the specific team area spawn points okay so with this turn let's end this video right here